Hey, welcome back to another episode of Whiskey Row. Hi, everybody. So we have recovered from COVID. We're back in the speakeasy. And we have power. I think life's somewhat normal now. Well, it's snowing again, so. True. It's actually snowing. <laughs> Literally, as we film this, it's snowing. So. Yeah. If, well, if we keep power, I don't mind so much, but. Well, everything everything that's in production today, all the lighting, the camera, everything's on battery. So mm -hmm. if we lose power, all we're going to lose are a little bit of the overhead lights. But we'll be able to press on through, finish the episode. Oh, thank goodness. And because then I was we'll so survive. worried yeah. that power would go off in the <laughs> middle of filming. Anyway, today we are going to dive into flavored whiskeys. What is the best flavored whiskey that we have? I'm excited. This is like my thing here. This is Jamie's thing. <laughs> so definitely, you know, we haven't had much to drink. What? I was about to say, I haven't drank in like a week and a half. We are going to dive. We picked out four. We didn't want to go with a five-way blind yet. So we, we we agreed to do a four. Jamie was a little hesitant to do <laughs> that, but but she'll be okay. I, I have a feeling it's going to be fine. Let's, let's do this. Let's enjoy some getting back into the world of whiskey here on Whiskey Row. It's been yeah. too long. So tonight, what do we have, Jamie? Why don't you introduce the bottles for us? What okay. do we got? All right. Tonight we have our Metcalf's Maple. And that's coming in at 90 proof. So that's actually one of the higher proof whiskeys we have with us tonight. I have to say this is one of my favorites, so I'm excited to see how it does tonight. <laughs> yeah, it's it's pretty solid for what it is. Then we have the Bull Run Maple. Thank you, uh, Cody and Erica. Yeah, that comes in at about 97 proof. So that's, that's a pretty proofy infused whiskey, a, a flavor infused whiskey. Okay. American Honey Wild Turkey. That comes in at 71 proof. It's one of the lower proof ones. It's not the lowest proof tonight, but... It's uh, it's kind of distinctive. It's got a unique flavor, and it might stand out a little bit, but that's okay. I mean, all the different flavors have different flavors, so oh well. It's about what tastes good, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, it's about <laughs> what tastes good. So. <laughs> okay, and then we have 1911, the cider donut bourbon. Yeah. Thanks, Keith. Yeah, thanks, Keith. This <laughs> this one's yummy. This one's really yummy. It comes in at 70 proof, so it's the lowest proof tonight. They're all in the same category, except for, you know, these are a little higher in the 90s. You know, these are in the 70s. But honestly, when it comes down to the flavors and stuff, you can't really pick up proof very much. So mm -hmm. it's uh, it should be a, a good competition tonight. What do you think the outcome is going to be tonight? Oh, it's a hard one because these are all really good. Um, I think this one I would probably put last just because um, it probably tastes really yummy in like cocktails, mm -hmm. you know, iced tea or whatever. Um, let's see. Obviously, my Metcalfs, I'm thinking number one. Um, and then I'm thinking Bull Run. And then I love 1911, but it has such a sweet taste that I, you know, I'm like, I love it. It's really good, but it's just not on my top favorite. All right. Well, we're going to see how this goes. I'm doing it <laughs> what with do you Jamie. Think? <laughs> what do you think as far as you? What do you feel like you're going to like? This one the least. This will be fourth for me third, second, and first. Because this tastes probably the least sweet, the least mapley, more traditional whiskey. Mm -hmm. It's better balanced to me. So I, I think this is going to be my favorite. But we'll see. Maybe today I have a sweet tooth and I'll end up picking the apple cider donut thing from 1911. Because it's really, <laughs> really good. Yeah, it's really good. All right, you ready to get started? Yeah. So why don't you mix them up a little bit? They're not in any particular order. I've already pre-mixed them up because I don't know what they are either. So in front of us, we have our Glen Cairns. Jamie has one ounce of each. I have about an ounce and a quarter because I need that ounce, that extra quarter to be able to, be able to <laughs> pick don't. up flavor. I and don't. Jamie does not. By the end of this, I'm not going to know what's what. Cheers. Cheers. Very sweet. I almost went straight for my first sip. Cider. This is that, um, not cider, the um, cinnamon donut. The donut one? I don't think it is. I think this is one of the maples. It's harder, it's harder, like, Jamie's like, I'm going to know exactly which ones they are, <laughs> and I'm like, it's harder than you think when, when you don't know. When I taste it, I'll know it. Okay, well, we'll see. We'll, let you, like we'll let you predict okay, uh, what okay. you think they are later. Are we ready? Going in for yeah, it? Yeah, let's do it. I think you're right. It's, it's not the cider donut one. But it's got a barrel wood smell. It's good, whatever And it is, some, though. like, yeah, and, and like a, a very thin maple smell accessible on the nose it's you don't you don't pick up the sweetness on the nose that you get on the palate on this one i feel like it's the bull run could be it's good i haven't had it in a while but yeah we our last bottle we finished off you finished off i can't say we because i don't, don't have very much of it at all 
But you finished it off, and then we didn't have one for a while, and, and thankfully yeah. Cody was able to pick us up another one and, and send yeah, it out. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Ooh, this right away already smells smooth. Yeah, this one smells like a almost like toasted marshmallows. See, I'm getting I'm getting maple from it. I am too. I mean, there's maple there, I guess, but I don't even smell anything that's like toasted. I t I smell like charred marshmallows. There's like a butterscotch sweetness to it with some really maple good. syrup. It's really good. It's syrupy and it's sweet and it's good. It's Metcalf. You think so? Mm-hmm. Sadly, I'll have to defer to your expertise on which is which because you would know better than me which is which. <laughs> that one's all the way my favorite. It wins. <laughs> <laughs> so this one is is opening up to me a little bit more. When you were a kid, did you ever eat rock candy? Mm-hmm. So this tastes like it has, it's like maple rock candy taste to me. Taste it again. It's got that like white sugar, crystallized white sugar. I mean, it tastes like anything that's really sweet and yummy. <laughs> so like, yeah. Honey. <laughs> it is. Yeah, you can tell. <laughs> you can tell. It's like lemon honey cough drops. Yep. It smells like, it smells really good though. It really does. It really does smell really good. And I definitely love the taste by itself, but I couldn't sit there and sip on it, you know? See, I could pour this over ice, like chipped ice, mm -hmm. and sip on this. To me, this almost tastes like a whiskey, like a, a very mild whiskey sour. Mm. And by mild, I mean the lemon part is mild. It's like an extra sweet, little mild lemon sour. No, whiskey sour. It's good, though. It's kind of like nice um, since we've been sick, you know, that lemon... We've been yeah with the cough drops and the mm -hmm. tea and stuff like that. Yeah, we've been drinking tons of like herbal tea and and green tea and stuff. That's good. It's not my favorite though. I actually I, I kind of like it a lot. You're kind of liking it. Yeah, I really am. Have you tasted it before? You tasted at the it, distillery. Right? I had oh, a sip okay, of okay. it. Other than the distillery, that's the only time I've had it. Um, oh, this is definitely the cider so or not the cider. Why do I keep calling it that? <laughs> the, the apple cider donuts. Oh, that's why. The apple cider donuts. I, I don't even remember, what it's, but it's the cinnamon sugar donuts or whatever. This it is. smells right off the bat sweet. I get a lot of brown sugar on oh, this. Oh, yeah. Lots We're... of brown sugar. Oh, it's so good. Just a very, very faint cinnamon. Yeah, underneath the uh, the brown sugar, a little bit of a kind of a brown sugar, powdered sugar, cinnamon donut. Underneath that, there's a little bit of a barrel tannin, tannic eatiness to it. What is it? Oh my, I, I'm, I, it really does taste like a powdered sugar donut. It really does. It tastes exactly like those donuts we got from the apple orchard we went to on our date. Mm -hmm. uh, Carter Mountain. Yeah, it was like a few months ago. Uh -huh. It tastes exactly like those. I feel yeah. like I'm laying on the couch eating all those again. Yeah, and those are apple <laughs> cider donuts. That's really good. I know. I feel like I've gained a few pounds just drinking it. <laughs> <laughs> this makes me want to go out and buy some donuts. I know. Let's just go. <laughs> Pig out on some donuts. All right, we've gone through them and tried them each. We've talked about their flavors a little bit. And when we come back, we're going to put them on podiums. All right, we're back. We have the podiums down. We have our rankings. Now, when it comes to bourbon, scotch, Irish whiskey, Japanese, really anything but flavored whiskeys, my palate is superior to Jamie's. My love is stronger than Jamie's. But when it comes to flavored whiskey, Jamie wins. So... <laughs> I'm not going to do the podiums today. You're going to do the podiums today. So, because when it comes down to it, like what is the better flavored whiskey? Mm -hmm. I mean, I've got my opinions and I'm going to share them with everybody here, mm -hmm. but you're going to be in control of the podiums tonight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So best whiskey road day ever. So what's your fourth place? <laughs> okay. So definitely fourth place, this guy. So now my fourth place is this one. Really? Yes, this one. I, there's something about it. I just not. I don't care for. Why are you hating on? I'm not hating on it. It's just that. Which one do you think it is? It's either the Bull Run or the Metcalfs, and I don't know which. But there's kind of a a dark barrel quality to it that I'm not digging right now. Hmm. It's. I think it's Bull Run. It might be, but if we just but opened I'm the bottle. To like, I'm starting to mix them up a little bit. Yeah. Well, so the Bull Run, I opened like 15 minutes before you came downstairs. So it Ooh, literally yeah, is brand new. Yeah, this is a Metcalf. <laughs> All right, maybe. All right, so what's number, what's your third place? It is the cider donut one. What you think is the cider donut one. I know. We'll see. I know. I'm not convinced. Really? No, I'm convinced. I'm pretty sure it is. I'm just, <laughs> I was I'm just say. saying. Um, so my third place is the other maple one, or at least what I think is the other maple one. Mm -hmm. uh, for whatever reason, the maple flavored whiskeys, I'm not digging. I didn't like them in the beginning. They're and so boring. 
Maple is so basic. <laughs> maple bourbons are so basic. Really? Oh, I yeah. Get out your Ugg boots like... and your leggings and go to Starbucks. I mean, seriously. Oh, yeah, girls. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's just for whatever reason, the, the maples, I'm not digging. This well, one, I think, is better than this one. I'll, I'll give you that. There's a little bit of a negative on this one for some reason. And this one doesn't have that. So I guess it's a little better. It's a little sweeter, too. Yeah, it is. It's Metcalf. But the other two, I think, are better. I think they're better whiskeys. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. I'm not spitting this one out, though. I mean, I'm going to drink it. I'm going to finish it because I'm anxious for more bourbon and whiskey in my life. All right. Number two. Okay. So my number two. Hold on. Hold on. Nope. My number two is this one, which tastes like a lemon cough drop, but in a really good way. It I does could taste, literally, it I is could, good. I could put this over like ice chips mm -hmm. any day and be happy. But I almost feel like tasting that it's missing something. Like, it needs its extra piece, like iced tea, or it needs, sure. like, it's just a whole lot of lemon. So there's, like, the lemon cough drop side, but then there's also, like, like a, a what is it, like a lemon head, or what's that candy? Those little yeah, it's yellow a lemon, head. lemon head. Yeah. It's almost like a little bit of a lemon head, a little bit of a cough drop, a little bit of an herbalness there from, like, the cough drop herbalness. Yeah. It's it's really, really good. I yeah, could... I totally get that. I'm pretty sure it's Metcalf, but... Yeah, we'll see. Let me try to control these. I'm not. I'm not convinced. I think you might have them backwards. Really? I think wouldn't you might, but I don't know. I, I, I mean, I wouldn't be sour about that. Well, they're both I, really good. I, I like them both a lot. So my favorite is what I think is the donut one. That's so good. You're so funny. Maybe it's because I'm. Maybe it's the fat guy donut thing. But it's. Good. Why was I thinking that? But I was like, I mean, she's like, I'm not gonna say I, that on I camera about my husband. I wouldn't say that. A fantastic flavored whiskey. It's. It's it's brown sugars and and apple cider almost not apple but like cidery a little bit of cinnamon some brown sugars mm. like the rock candy thing like I mentioned earlier it's just so good this is fantastic what okay. is your fourth place okay uh, what's right the numbers here. on the bottom it's the honey slam and then you should, no 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 don't pour your mind you drink it that one number four. Number four. Yep. It's the donut. It. God, it's so good. So it's officially the cider donut really bourbon. It's bourbon whiskey with brown sugar, natural flavor, and caramel. All right, what's your number three? What's your number two? Number two. Really? Yup. <laughs> oh! This is why I don't do this. If I was going to try to save it, I was going to knock the bottles. I know. all I... my bottles down, and I'm just not willing to let no. those go. Jamie, what's your number one tonight? <laughs> Metcalf. <laughs> <laughs> no. It's okay, Bull Run. yeah. It it's is. 13-year American maybe, whiskey maybe from Bull Run. Maybe I just Run. needed some variety in my life. And... Coming in at 97 proof. Jamie was a proof hound tonight. She wanted that proofy, proofy beast. I guess so. I was like, if I'm going to drink, I'm going to drink. All right. Well, that is the competition for tonight. Wow. We now know that my favorite flavored whiskey is the 1911 Cider Donut. And Jamie's favorite is the Bull Run Maple Infused 13-Year American Whiskey. It was fun getting back in the speakeasy, trying some flavored whiskeys tonight, trying to find out what is the best. Jamie found her number one. I found my number one. We didn't agree, but that's okay because Jamie is the flavored whiskey expert, so her opinion matters more. I'll drink to that. If you end up enjoying the video, please smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you have not. And until next time. Find some bottles you love. <laughs> you know, go through them and actually make sure. What? Don't just be like, oh, that one's Metcalf, so I'm going to put it in first. Go no. through and taste them. David, I really like Metcalf the most. Okay. Like, I love it. Am I going to put them on podiums too? No, you're putting them on podiums. Oh. You're the decider. Ooh. I'm going to have my rankings, but yours is the official. Keith, send me that cider donut. I can't. Stuff for Jamie. I'll lose, yeah, I'll lose my man card. <laughs> it, but it, 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 Jamie really wants yeah, more donut. Jamie really wants that 1911 <laughs> cider donut that you got her for Christmas. So I can't see your, I told you I can wow. see your breath. Yeah. Maybe it's because I'm full of hot air. My toes are so cold right now. <laughs> are you barefoot? I'm like, no, I'm not barefoot. I have socks on and shoes. But True. Have you done that before? Am I the first one to break the glass in here? Yeah, you are. Woo.